What are the duties of a cleric acolyte? As an acolyte, you are to work for the community and prove your faith to Kalan. Those who prove worth will find themselves promoted to Legate. To do that, you must prove loyal and able. Where should I begin my initiation? Every cleric must learn the skill of suggestion. You should report to Boulder. Kalan's blessing has made him our most able suggester. You must also undertake a pilgrimage to prove your faith to Kalan. Again, Boulder can take you through what is required of you. And Martha will give you a task that will show your humble dedication to all who serve Kalan. I will offer Kalan words, so he will support you in your quest to become a true acolyte. There's just one more thing. Yes? Why did you choose to join the clerics? To begin with, it seemed like the best way to survive. But that isn't everything. My own people tried to kill me. I want to find answers, and joining a faction has to help me find them. I hope you're not just doing this for your own personal reasons. How are you? I'm okay. We're on the brink of the final battle against the Alves. All of Magalan is depending on us. A new initiate. It's great to see that you've joined us. Here, something to welcome you as a new acolyte. A merchant gave it to me. I don't drink, but you look like you can use it. Thanks. Anything to make life easier. You acolytes have it hard enough. And with everything else going on here, we need to encourage new initiates. Ugh. Why is the food so bad? Ignadon's rocky soil isn't the best for growing things. So, we have to supplement with manufactured substitutes. Nutritionally balanced, designed for body, and a balanced metabolism. They sort of forgot the flavor. Why don't you trade with the other factions to get food? That question's way above my rank. But I suppose we just can't afford to be dependent on them. But you're right. Maybe supplementing our supplies is a good idea. I know some people on the outside who haven't joined the faction. They could trade with us. Yeah, that would help them and us. If you need the food, take it from them. No. I came here to get away from people who think like that. We need trade, not theft and murder. That means finding someone who understands the people out there as well as those in here. Do you think that's you? Where are the people you want to trade with? They've set up a makeshift camp southwest of Hort. Find our outpost out there and go north. You'll find them there. See what they need, and if we can make this a long-term arrangement, right? That will make a real difference. I can negotiate the food supplies for you. This will take tact. I don't want guns waved around. There's to be no bloodshed. But if you really want to make a difference and help us start working together, then I'm prepared to trust you. They put together survival packs with fresh meat in them. They're hunters, you see. If you could get me 20 of those packs, Anything we can get to supplement what the foraging units bring in has to be a help. So talk to them and see if you can make it an ongoing arrangement. How long have you been in charge of the refectory? I was assigned here. 
when the last few technicians sent a dozen men to the infirmary. It wasn't my first choice, but the job came with a promotion, a safe posting, and a complete absence of rippers. Why did you join the clerics? You mean, why am I still not living on the border of Tavar, waiting for outlaws to kill me, burn my home, and steal everything I own? And that's if you survive the Albs, the local wildlife, the mutants, and yes, the cleric raiding parties. It was join a faction and stay alive. So, glory to Kalan. Yes, there are some issues. Some of our order are a bit strict to the point of being an asshole, and the food sucks, but... At least we're not murderous outlaws. Do you have some food for me? I can understand that you're hungry. But you will have to wait 24 hours for another serving. That's the way it goes. I need your approval for promotion. Oh, you don't need me. You need to do something that proves you are humble before clan. Humility counts for a lot here. So? You can help me distribute the rations according to our tradition. I'll distribute the rations. Great. You'll have to come back later once they're prepared. Meet me back here later. Your task of humility will await you. I'm here to distribute the rations. Of course. Here, take this stew to Baldur, Xander, Anna, and Reinhold. I'll take care of the others. So, off you go. And be humble. Thanks. Are you still here? Go! Deliver! Don't let the stew get cold. Be humble. with focus, and a full stomach only dulls the mind. Then I'll take yours to someone else. Wait, wait, wait. You do take things literally, don't you? One thing Kalan teaches is the need for a sense of humor. Any deity that can look at this world and see it as a place for the saved must surely have a sense of humor. You do know why that is right. Can't you remember anything? 
Yes, I remember. Balder makes sense of everything. He is very wise. I won't argue with that. I don't really want to have to go and see Balder myself. Wait, what are you trying to say? Nothing. Just, just forget what I said. I believe in the just nature of Kalan. And Balder sees that Kalan's work is done. Yes, yes. Kalan sees all. It seems you decided to become a cleric. Well, it is good to see new believers in our ranks. I assume Judicator Reinhold sent you to me? Yes. Then he must have told you that every acolyte is required to learn the basics of suggestion. And I will teach you. Once you are ready to learn. But, first you must complete your pilgrimage. That is something required of all new initiates. I'm here on behalf of Martha. Ah, and Martha really does put a good meal together. And it is good to see you are taking your acolyte duties so seriously. Duty nurtures the soul. I hope you are taking the teachings of our community to heart. Yes, I'm learning the teachings of Kalan. Then you won't mind if I test your knowledge, acolyte. Let's begin. What is the name of the god we worship? Kalan. Kalan, may he grace us with his wisdom. Now, to the second question. What is the name of the Judicator who deals with the war against the Alps? Ulbricht. Judicator Ulbricht. However, your answer is correct. I have one last question. What is the name of our prophet? Arvid. I'm surprised. Most acolytes don't apply themselves to their task this diligently. So, acolyte, you answered my questions correctly. Just as I expected from a loyal servant, Kalan rewards his servants. He did well. She took that secret to the grave. Visitor, whatever brings you to the Hort, welcome, I guess. Say, how well do you know the area outside the Hort? I guess you can take care of yourself if you've managed to make it here. What's that to you? Well, you see, if you can handle yourself, I could use your help. You made the problem. You fix it. For the record, I just fit the chips. It's not my fault if some clean room press managed to screw up a whole batch of chips. I brought you some food. Oh, it's about time. Thanks. I'm ravenous. Protein supplement stew again? What I wouldn't give for a real steak. That's about the only reason I can think of for leaving the hort. I think you'll have to lower your expectations. Stew again, then. Well, Martha does the best with what she has. Ah, and welcome to the clerics. It's good to see a new recruit. What's my help worth? Look, this is just one combat squad. But if the issue is a problem with the way we're manufacturing AI chips, we're gonna get malfunctions everywhere. And that will be everyone's problem, including yours. So, can you scrap these mechs and bring me their AI chips? And please look out for that recovery team I sent. Those guys are better in a workshop than they are in the wild. I'd be obliged if you could bring them back alive.
Here, your daily rations. So, you have become an acolyte. I'm glad to have you amongst our ranks. You are honored. We are honored. Honor abounds. Now, as an acolyte, I'm sure you'll honor the deal I have with the others. They understand how hard guard duty is, and they leave me a double portion of rations. I pay, of course. And there's no reason at all to tell Martha of this arrangement. That's all the rations I have. What? Well, you could have planned that better. Next time, you had better come right to me. The rest can wait. Got it? that done in good time. I hope you managed to be humble, too. Were there any problems during your rounds? No. Good. Then we can call your service to the community complete. It seems you're all set to climb the ranks. Do you have some food for me? I can understand that you're hungry. But you will have to wait 24 hours. Everything was better earlier, but still, you have to keep going, don't you? Why did he do that? It allows you to earn a few shards, and that's what makes it worthwhile. Yeah, the leaders there are such fanatics. How is that even possible? Why did he do that? That's what I said. adjustable wrench and a set of retaining rings. And, if you are up for it, bring me a weapons-grade Elex battery. A pressurized air intake valve and what was the last? I'll get the things you need. Wait, wait a second. There is still something missing. Let me think now. Damn it, it was right here. I had it a moment ago. Adjustable wrench, retaining rings, pressurized air intake valve, and I'm still missing a few screws, of course. But what was the last thing? Not the orbital reset brake. At any rate, I have that. Pin 3 bracket arm. I know I forgot one of those last time. Could it be that again? Think, think, think. Well, I've not seen it anywhere, but what if it's something else? Do you want my help? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, damn it, that's my line of concentration gone. You know how hard it is to get a moment's peace to think in this place? Damn it, what the hell was it that I was thinking about? <sighs> I think I will have to get the tool myself. The machines we build and maintain here, they are all that will stop the owls. But? Do I get the resources I need to do the job properly? Do I, hell? Accept that. 
suggestion? The correction of those who have strayed from the path of the pure. As the High Suggester, I assist the minds and souls of the lost to return to Kalan's ways through suggestion. Kalan's will works through a skill all clerics must learn. The mind must be free from false teachings. The body pure, free of the poison of Elix. Only then can we be at one with Kalan and his community. As a patriarch, it is my job to guide and advise. The will of Kalan clears the mind. How do you clear someone's mind? Through suggestion, we have developed technology. Implants that allow us to guide the minds of others. It takes training, but it means we can bring people back to the pure path, or suggest to them that they do things that will assist us. It is an art that only the clerics understand. Can Alms do that, with their mutants? The machine components you see on some wasteland mutants? We believe those allow the Albs a measure of control over the mutants, but it is a crude form of the suggestion we practice here. Some say it is because they are strong of mind, others that it is because they have been poisoned. But I think the answer is more straightforward. Their commanders are using an extreme form of brainwashing on them already. Their minds are already being controlled. So this is where you brainwash people? No, no. You can't force people to change who they are. You can only bring out their better traits. That is what I do. I re-educate people. That is what I must do now. There is a poor wretch who requires re-education. Leave me. I must help him find the light of Kalan. Can you train me? I can try. What would you like to learn? What must I do for this pilgrimage? It is a trial of dedication. You must visit each of the four shrines along the path that traverses Ignadon. And at each one, you will face a test from Kalan. Once you have completed these tests, return here. Then, I and Kalan will find you worthy of the next step in your enlightenment. Where can I find the shrines I must visit? The shrines are found along the wayside of the old roads and paths. The first shrine is found directly outside the entrance to Hort. From there, you have to head northwest. You will find the second shrine on the right side of the road. And from there, head south to the third shrine. When you have reached the third of the shrines, you are almost done. You only have to head east in order to complete the circle of your pilgrimage. Good luck. I'm gonna keep quiet about that no matter what they say. About my duties as an acolyte. I've completed Martha's task. You have. There weren't any difficulties, according to Martha. Then I hope this task has a lasting effect. All clerics must learn that they are part of community. Each individual serves Kalan, and through him, Magalan. I have learned suggestion. Ah, really? Then please demonstrate your newfound skill. I want you to try and shake my faith in Kalan. Kalan does not exist. Your god is a lie. I... No. How? What? No. I am impressed. That was really good for a beginner. It seems you have completed that step in your initiation. But please remember... Never try to use suggestion on people who have a stronger will than you. You can be sure that it won't work, and you are quite likely to anger them with any such attempt. Keep practicing. Maybe one day you will manage to use your power of suggestion on me. Now go.
Return to me once you have completed your pilgrimage. Time to spend here. Maybe after it's all over. Hello, stranger. You should stock up on supplies before you head out into the wilderness. I have everything you need. What do you have to offer me? Everything an adventurer like you could need. Wherever you're going, stay safe on your travels. 